Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we're marching on through Victory Road. Again, still some more and all that good shit. Anyway, we're gonna make out with this guy real quick, and then, all right, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Anyway, let's let's move on. Enough with the weird with the weird shit. Oh god, go down, go down the stairs, douche. And we're just gonna we're gonna make sure or try to pick up shit in here. I know you guys are probably gonna get tired of watching me do pointless battles and all that sort of shit. And god damn it, I need to get you out of there. Just run away. Run, 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 run. We're gonna leave with Mokana because um, there's a lot of shit in here that he can fuck up. I ain't gonna lie. And he does have a lot more PP than Who Garden does. And I'm okay with that, so we're just gonna sit. Ah, fucking yeah! Sandstorm. That means Dirt Machine's gonna go fucking nuts. Because we did. <clears throat> We did put EQ on him. So, yeah, I think we did anyway. Either way, we're gonna do that before we obviously get to Elite Four. And he's gonna run a house, I, I hope. It's gonna be, it's a long time planning, honestly. But that's, un it's unfortunate, because it's taking so, it's gonna take so long to fucking get him ready to go, but, um,. Hopefully, hopefully he'll come in and kick some ass. I, I have faith that he will. I have faith. God damn, there's, there's a f lot you can do in here uh, to, to battle and, and grow fat and happy on. I'm, I'm okay with that. No, who's this asshole? I don't like this guy over here. Ah, uh, full heal. All right, hey, 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 battle me. Come on, I'll whip you. Ooh, he's gonna whip me. He's gonna whip me. Does he have a fucking lollipop and a whip? That's what it looks like to me. The fucker's got a lollipop and the fucking whip. I mean, what kind of weird ass shit is this? I'm just saying. And since now um, we do have EQ, once we either put that on him, I can't remember. Like I said, if Dirt Machine has it on or not. But once we once we got Dirt Machine up and going, he can pretty much rock a shit ton of fucking goddamn you, fuck you, and your cheap ass shit. It's probably gonna be faster anyway. Oh fuck you, Persian. Um, can see that's that's the shit that worries me. I know he's you know four levels lower, but you know it still it still bugs me. That's where I'm I'm unconvinced by Granker. Like I was saying in the last episode, that's where I'm not really happy with where we're at with him right now. And he's got a fucking gold duck. Why couldn't you have just led with that gold duck and given me a clean switching? You bastard. And we do have to make sure everyone has fucking items and shit. That's going to be nice to have. I mean, make sure everyone's all cut up. But, like I was saying, with EQ, he can fuck up all the ground shit and stuff like that in here. Dirt Machine can. And, yeah, and that that should go well when it comes to training. It shouldn't take long. Like I said, I might, I might do that tonight and then just record the rest of what I need to record later. By that, I mean the last and the final episode. And all that good shit. I do have a couple things that I do want to do, like when when we're done with LPs and stuff like that. Um, I was talking to the girlfriend earlier about this. Earlier about this. Today, earlier today about man, I cannot fucking form sentences right now. I was talking to my girlfriend earlier today about this. What I want to do is is have like a um, since I'm a sports guy. I know I've said shit like that the whole fucking LP, but since I'm a sports guy, what I want to do is is I want to have like a MVP. And when obviously when we get subscribers and, and people to interact with this is why I was saying this in the last episode too. Um, you know, once we get all that situated and settled, then we can have you know MVP where everyone you know votes to us, you know who they think the most viable Pokemon in the LP is. You know, if you think it's you know Stella or whatever, you know what have you, whatever you happen to think our most valuable Pokemon throughout the length of the LP was. You know, and then we can put together, I can put together like a little fucking highlight reel or some shit. Oh, damn, Cho going fucking nuts. Of course, Mr. Mime ain't gonna fucking... He's just gonna retaliate with a psychic and kick his ass. Owie. But, you know, like I said, that's, that's something that I want to do. And have that be like an epilogue video, you know, our last episode after the finale. Our, you know, our MVP Pokemon and give some credit where it's due. Um... It's not going to be entirely based on my opinion. Like I said, I'd rather have people vote. I'd rather make it some, you know, legit way. I'll find some way to have fucking people vote somewhere and do some poll shit and crap like that. So, 
can have an actual count instead of just rolling through the fucking comments and be like, oh, you know, or, you know, and counting them up myself, quote unquote, because I've watched some LPs and, you know, not that I've ever checked, but sometimes it's like, well, look at that, they voted exactly the way you wanted them to. But that's just, that's just me. I, I'm, I just question everything. That's kind of in my nature, though. Hence why I believe in conspiracy theories and shit. Because I question all that shit. Whether it's founded or not. It's just the way I am. What the fuck are we doing up here? Someone tell me that. Oh, it's a Cubone. It's so cute. Cubone Marowak. You know what I'm fucking saying. Oh, God. We don't want Shoot out there. No, I'm just gonna run. If I don't have the right fucking matchup, I'm just gonna run. I ain't gonna waste my time with that shit today. Um, but what I am gonna do is this. You're gonna fucking hate me, but I'm gonna. I I can't do this. This asshole down here needs to be fought, and I have to fight him because I feel like I have yet to to move through where we need to move through appropriately. If that makes any fucking sense whatsoever. And we do have that fucking boulder over there that I didn't move. I think I might have to go fucking move. So you wish to challenge the Elite Four? What? What? What do? You, what do you care, little juggler boy with funky greenish yellow hair? Fucker's gonna drowsy. That. This could be tough. But we're gonna spark it and see what happens. It's usually we'd want to use. Well, not usually, but right about now we would just go and toss Stella out there and be like. Well, why? Oh, fuck you, you cheap bastard. God damn it. No, fuck that. Fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. We're gonna do this. I'm using the fucking knife potion. That's why I brought these things. This is why I hate. This is why I hate Victory Road. Because, number one, it's some puzzle shit with a zillion fucking things. Oops, with a zillion fucking things to stop you from walking through here, you know, a zillion random fucking battles. And then some jerk off, like the one jerk off in the place that actually, you know, pulls this shit off and, and, uh, you know, paralyzes your asshole or fucking confuses him like he is. It lasts fucking forever and you're already annoyed by the time you get to this prick. Because of all the fucking random battles, all the shit you're trying to figure out, all the fucking HMs you're trying to fucking use, if you don't use a guide, which I don't have a hard copy guide for this, and, you know, I ain't gonna fucking pause the recording or anything stupid like that and go fucking look this shit up. Because, what's the fucking point? Oh, he snaps out of confusion fucking 20 minutes later. You know, but yeah, this is the shit that really irritates me about Victory Road. This right here, it's like, now, now he's got a fucking hypno, ah, yeah, right, this asshole, and now we're gonna use a zillion fucking PP and shit, which we've already used a bunch, and all that crap, and now we're gonna run out of moves at some point, so we are gonna have to skip some people, I think, although there aren't really that many, I know I was talking about how quick, or how, how short this victory road kind of was, it was only three levels, and it looked relatively simple, and all that good shit, and here I am complaining, fucking two episodes in. Because <laughs> this shit annoys me. It really annoys me. But I got a battle this guy where it's gonna fucking bug me for like the whole rest of the fucking day. I'm serious. This guy, this this one guy in his fucking Kadabra would just annoy the shit out of me the whole rest of the day. Oh yeah, use recover. Why don't you come over here and recover my fucking PB, you prick. Which, by the way, like I said, the Elite Four is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Because, I mean, I think we get good type coverage, but we'll see. I don't know. The more I think about it, the more I get worried about it. And, and then I'm like, oh, no, we, we can handle this one, and we can handle that one, and then we can handle this one. And then I'm like, no, uh, I always think worst case scenario when it comes to this shit, too. So I'm like, oh, fuck, we're boned. And then this fucking cadaver just throws a wrench in our fucking plans. And why does Fly miss so much? Have we had like really bad luck with Fly? Because it really feels like it in this LP. I know Fly doesn't have 100% accuracy. It's what 90, right? I think. 
And I really feel like we've been getting really, really boned on that. At least it feels like it to me. I mean, I, I don't know. That's just, that's just me. I mean, you know, now we gotta fucking stop and use our hyper potions and we're really not gonna get anywhere in this episode because, you know, I'm spending all my time fucking healing and battling this one douchebag who just fucking wants to confuse everything. But that is... Nope. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we really need to just leave him out there because there's so much, so much earthy shit that he can destroy in here. And there's that switch down there. What's that switch down there for? I guess we're not, you know, unable to run away and shit from stuff in here because that that was that was pissing me off last time. And Pokemon Mansion, which I know I could use a repel here, but I'm still bitter over that shit. Not gonna lie. Still, still a little bitter over that. Now let's see, we got this asshole right here. And these things all fucking reset, don't they? And we can move this. Nope, 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 that's... That's an exit. That's what I thought it was. No. Anyway, now that we've explored that and realized that there's nothing we can do, we're just gonna move on. Keep on moving on and shit. And all that stuff. Just fucking get on out of here and go upstairs and wander around. Oh my god. See, and that's why I don't like fucking running fast and shit in these goddamn games. Nothing fucking happens. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's run for this primate, which I'm sure would probably give us a boatload of experience. A boatload, I say. A boatload. I'm surprised we haven't seen any fucking gold bats or anything in here. Because you know how they always like to fucking... Have those guys show up everywhere all the time. I got that fucking boulder there. What the hell is that boulder for? Oh. Fucking. That guy. Anyway. Let's go. Let's fight this chick and call it good. Maybe. If I feel like it. Anyway, um, so, uh, I, I just had to pause, or not really pause, but I had to fucking stop the recording for a sec, because family members of mine like to just fucking show up to my house and shit, and you have no idea how annoying that is. They don't fucking call, don't text, don't do nothing. They just show the fuck up because they think they can. God, it pisses me off. But anyway, we got this fucking Clefairy using cosmic powder or whatever the fuck this is. I don't even know what that is. This defense, alright, yeah, oh god. It's only special defense though, which works out well because we're just gonna chop that fucker in half and, and fucking Ranker can I get the job done. See, yeah, I'm I'm really really worried about Granker here. I really am. Cause this is he's he's gonna be How should I put this? Potentially screwed. Dudong. What do we got for this Dudong? We're just gonna do this. We're just gonna show them. Just gonna show them. Because that's what we do here. That's what we do here. Alright. Because I'm not sure if this fucker's ice or not yet. I don't think he is. I don't think Dugong is ice at all. Come on, I think it's just straight water. I could be wrong. But. This is a fucking Aurora beam and uh, that worked out pretty well. You're a fucking forest you bastard. Alright, sparking. You got another forester, you got another forester, is that the only one you got? Uh, that's the only one you got, you bastard. Alright. Uh, 
not the little crackhead. The little Jigglypuff. We're just gonna fucking karate chop him or something. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully, hopefully leveling this fucker up before the Elite Four. Look at those fucking eyes. Holy God, that's frightening. Hopefully, it'll be alright with Cranker. Like I said, we're gonna need him. He's not gonna have a huge role, but he's, he's gonna be... The role, when when he comes in, it's gonna be vitally important because, I mean, every, honestly, every Pokemon when you fight the Elite Four is vitally important as far as I'm concerned, especially, you know, if you're doing like a Nuzlocke or some shit like that, you know, where you're just gonna have to go in and you have to find ways to win. And like I said, when he comes in, he's gonna be, you know, he's gonna have to come in and he's gonna have to sweep because once he goes down, Especially like against ice stuff. Once he goes down, we've got nothing else to back him up. That's the problem. Now, if it's like an Earth thing or something like that, like um, right on Onyx, fucking shit, yeah, knock that motherfucker out. You know, if it's against like an Onyx or something like that, we've got you know what, two, three more things that can come in and and get the business done. You know, of course, you know you, you want to not not waste surfs and stuff like that. I hate to say waste, but Anyway, um, I'm going to continue that conversation next time because that's the end of this episode. If you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching and remember, pants are optional.